If you're someone who's absolutely stressed out about the Algebra 2 final exam coming up, don't worry, I got you. In this video, we're gonna go through a portion of an Algebra 2 Regents exam, and the plus is you can use some of the math songs that we're about to use in this video on your actual exam in your head to make sure that you get the correct answer. On this channel, we explain math through songs to make math more engaging and fun. Let's get right into the video. Um, okay, so the first question is, which expression is equivalent to um, x plus 2 squared minus 5 x plus 2 plus 6. We need to um, extend this and um, get rid of, 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 of the squared, I guess, which would make things a lot easier. And we know that x plus 2 squared is just um, x plus 2 uh, times x plus 2. And this thing right here is a binomial. And we have a song that will help you with how to multiply binomials. And this is how it goes. How to multiply binomials first, outside, inside, last. Multiply each pair, add, simplify, you got your answer fast. So now, what do we say in the song? How do we multiply binomials first, outside, inside, last? So we have first, which is um, x squared. And then outside, we got uh, plus 2x plus the inside we got 2x, plus last is 4. So then this becomes x squared plus 4x plus 4. Okay, now we can get rid of that. So, so we have x squared plus 4x plus 4. And then what is this? We have to use the distributive property on this to get minus 5x minus 10. And then we do plus 6. Now we just add everything up. So then we have x squared um, minus four, plus 4x minus 5x is minus x. Um, and then we have plus 4 minus 10 is minus 6 plus 10 is 6. We just have x squared minus x. And the equivalent of that would be x times x minus 1. So that is our answer. Moving on to the next question. To the nearest tenth, the solution to the equation is... Well, um, just know that you can use a calculator on this. I don't have a calculator on me, so I'm just going to do all the steps. And you would have to use your calculator for this part. So here where we're solving for x. And we can call back to the song that we used in Algebra 1 where we have order of operations in reverse. Let's solve this with pride. If you see a minus sign, you add, and if it's multiply, you divide. So what is order of operations? We have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So uh, PEMDAS, as you may know. And so whatever order of operations you see that's, that um, is towards the end, you, you would have to do that first. And then you would have to perform the operation that cancels it out. So when we scan this, we have a multiplication, we have an exponent, we have subtraction, and subtraction is to the lowest. Um, it has the least priority. So whenever we have to reverse it, we would do we would do this first, and we would do addition. So we have 123 plus 123 on both sides. So then we would have um, 4,300 e to the power or power of 0 0.07 x equals 5, 1, 2, 3. Now let's look at this again. Order of operations in reverse. What is the the the, the one that is towards the end? The next, the, the one we see here is multiplication and exponent. Multiplication comes after exponent, so we would deal with this one. And what is the opposite of multiplication? Division. Let it, let's divide. Uh, four, three hundred. Okay. Now let us write this again. We have e zero point zero seven x equals five one two three over four three hundred. Okay. What do we have now? We have e zero point zero seven to the power of x. Oh, no, 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 e to the power of 0.07x. This is an exponent. What is the opposite of an exponent? That would be a logarithm. Our, our song about logarithms, it says, 
A logarithm is the inverse of an exponential function. So we'll use a logarithm to cancel it out. And since we have e as our base, the, we would have to use the natural log, which is ln, to cancel out e. So we have ln. Uh, we, we, we would, we would um, take the natural logarithm of both sides. So then we would get 0.07x equals natural log of 5, 1, 2, 3 over 4,300. Okay, you can just compute this on, on your calculator and then divide both sides by 0.07 to get what your x value is. Moving on to the next question. The, the value of an automobile t years after it was purchased is given by the, 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 the function um, v equals uh, 38,000 times 0 0.84 t. Um, which statement is true? So when, when we have an exponential function, we have two different types that it could be. Growth or decay. When it's decay, it's less than one. Yay. I don't know. I guess that's a song I used for that. Um, if it's less than one, it's exponential decay. So if it's decay, it means that it decreases by one minus whatever's inside. Because this is decay, it's less than one. We would get 0 0.16. The value of the car decreases 16% each year because it stays at 84% of what it was before. And if it stays at 84%, then it means that it uh, decreases by 16. And as we were talking about right here, we would use the same kind of uh, thing to answer number four. But, like what is inside the parentheses here or whatever we're, we're multiplying by the exponent has to be less than one. Uh, yeah, this is 2.3, this is 4, this is 1.8. The answer is 1 for this. Moving on. The expression... Um, uh, the, the, the expression x4 minus 5x squared plus 4x plus 14 is equal to... All right. So with, with, with this one, you would use synthetic division. And I will link the song that we had on synthetic division but essentially it is called synthetic division is an easy way to divide polynomials when one is x minus c or x plus c. c has to be your constant numeral. The value of x is always one. Okay, b b because we know that the value of x is one here, um, we can use synthetic division and, the, and um, x has to be the leading coefficient. Those are the two things that you need to know to apply synthetic division. Now let's sketch this out. So it's x minus c. And so since it's x plus 2, it's x minus minus 2. Let's do that. And then we have 1, x, x to the power of 4, 0 to the x minus 3, uh, to, uh, 0 x to the power of 3, uh, minus 5. Let me space that out a little bit. Um, Minus, ugh, let me space it. Minus five x to the power of two, four x, and then fourteen, and then we would just do normal division here. So, uh, two minus two times one is minus two. So we just move that here, um, and then we have two minus two times minus two is four. We would bring four here. Minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1. Minus 2 times minus 1 is 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. You bring that. You, you bring 6 down here. Minus 2 times 6 is minus 12. And then, so we have 2 as our remainder. Well, no, no, um, it's 2, not minus 2. I don't know what I was doing there. It's 2. So we can write this out as... Um, x cubed uh, minus 2x squared minus x plus 6 and then this minus this 2 is the numerator and then you would have 2x plus 2 that's this is your answer which is we have that right there is our answer for number seven, we have 
if f of x is equal to 2x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 3 plus minus 16x plus 8, then f of 1 half. Okay, the easiest way you can do this is just to plug in 1 half into your function through a calculator and see what it equals. And then you can also plot this on a calculator and see where the x-intercepts are because that's going to be... Um, if uh, 2x plus 1 or 2x minus 1 is, fa is a factor, but for the sake of this problem, I'm going to plug in f equals 1 half in here uh, and see what we get. So we can at least eliminate two of these options and the rest will be an, exer the rest will be an exercise to you. So we have 2, um, 1 half to the power of 4 minus 1 half to the power of 3 minus 16 one half plus eight. Okay, so uh, one, one, one half to the power of four is 16. Uh, um, so it's, um, no, I meant one over 16. So two, uh, one over 16. Two to, the, two to the power of three is eight. So one half to the power of three is one eighth. So minus one eighth. Um, minus 16 times one half is just eight. So then that would be minus eight plus eight. These two cancel out. Two sixteenths is equal to one eighth. And so that also cancels out and this equals zero. So f of one half does equal zero. Um, yes. So basically you only have one or two left and you can um, graph this out and see which one of these. Um, actually, no, wait, hold on. If one half is a zero of this, then you would just see which one of these equals one half. 2x minus one equals zero. If you just add one to both sides, 2x equals one, x equals one half. Yep. So then you would have 2x minus one is equal to a factor of, of, of f of x because you know that this function is zero at one half. And so if you plug one half into this, you, uh, um, you, 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 you get zero. So that is our answer. Moving on to number eight. If, K, so if six minus ki is 27 minus 36i, then the value of k is, we know six minus ki, six minus, you, we would do the same thing here that we did for the last problem, where, and you can use the song that we said earlier on binomials. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat it again. How to multiply binomials first, outside, inside, last. Multiply each pair, add, simplify, you got your answer fast. So when we do this, first is 36, outside, uh, minus, uh, minus 6k, I, and then inside is minus 6k i and then last we would be plus k i squared so then this would be 36 um, minus 12 ki plus ki squared. So what is the big deal with i if you don't know what, what i is? i is an imaginary number. Our song about imaginary numbers is imaginary units are represented as i. i is the square root of minus is i and two is minus one and i three is minus i and i four is, is one. So we have i one is i, i2 is minus 1, i3 is minus i, mi minus i, and i4 is 1. Okay, so if we want this thing here to be minus 36i, I would assume that k would have to be 3, because uh, minus 12 times 3 is minus 36. And then this, and then if i squared is minus 1, this would be, um, k would be, um,
Wait, no, the, 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 this would be k squared i squared. So then, the, so then the, this would be 9 minus 9. So 36 minus 9 is 27. And then uh, 12 uh, times 3 is minus 36. So then so the value of k would just be 3. What is the solution set of the equation 